Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and my name is Pramod Thorath and this is another Comsha A plus Core 2 exam practice state simulation type of questions or you can call performance based questions. So let's go to the simulation Core 2 exam part 2. So this is the simulation. A technician has installed two new drives in one of the computers in the computer lab. Dix1 will be utilized for user and application data. Dix2 has already been properly configured and has been production data on it. The technician has been unable to format appropriate Dix from the command prompt. The lab requires that Dix1 be dynamic Dix configured with two partitions. The first partition must be 256.000 MB in size and mapped to drive F. The second partition must be 512.000 MB in size and mapped to drive G. The new partitions must be formatted to ensure that users' files can be secured from other users and that the digs must be configured to account for future redundancy. So make sure to maintain a consistent file system. So let's check the instructions for these simulations. So conduct the necessary steps within the digs manager to accomplish this task. If at any time you would like to bring back the initial state of the simulation, please click the reset all buttons. So all settings will be resets. So let's check the necessary steps within the Dix Manager to accomplish Dix tasks. So this is the default Dix Management system. So as you can see, there is a Dix1 and Dix2. So you have to configure this Dix1 and Dix2 as per the simulations. So let's check the next screen for the simulation. So you can see the converted animatics are showing on the screen. This is the default screen on the simulations. So let's check the next screen. The next screen, as you can see, the Dix1, there are four options available in the Dix1 initial task, offline properties, and help. So, it's actual exam, you have to select one option for this e section. So, let's check the next section. As you can you see, this is the new simple vis volume wizard screen, and you have to select here as per the simulation to 256.000 MP size in the simple volume for Dix1. So, let's move the next screen for the simulation. So this is the new simple user next screen. This is the assigned drive letter to path. As per the simulation, you have to select F drive for the Dix1 and G drive for Dix2. So move to the next section. The next section, this is also the new simple wizard completing the new simple wall. So in this section also, you have to select correct options for the simulations and click on the finish. So let's move to the correct answer and the explanations for the simulations. So this is the first step for the simulations. So right click on Dix1 and click 1 to initialize. As you can see on the screen, this is a Dix1. Right click on the Dix1 and there are four options available in the right click. Initialize Dix offline properties and help. You have to select initialize Dix and click on that initialize Dix. So let's check the next screen for the simulations. So this is the second step for the simulations. So choose Dix and option as MBR hit OK. So as as you can see, as we have seen in the screen, this is the initial desk, and there are two options available in the desk: MBR master boot record and GPT GUID partition table. So you have to select MBR master boot record in this section and hit OK. So let's go to the next. So this is the next step for the simulation. So again, right click on the Dix1 and choose convert to dynamic disk. As you can see, the right click on the disk and this is the dynamic already converted to the Dix1 as a dynamic disk. And then now right click on the Dix1 and choose new simple volume assign a driver letter F. So right click on the Dix1 and this is the new simple volume wizard. So you have to select assign the volume drive the letter. As per simulation, you have to select F drive for the is Dix1. So let's move to the next step for the simulation. So this is the next step. Specify storage as 256.0 MB and choose file system as NTFS and click finish. So as per the simulation, as you can see, the simple volume size in MB is selected as a 256.0 MB and click on the next button. The next button, the new simple volume wizard will open and here you have to select part of this this volume with the following settings. So there are many options available in the partition settings. So you have to select NTFS and then click finish and then click on the next button. So this simulation has been completed. Also do the same thing for rest of the space of Dix1 assigning 512.0 MB and using Dix G. So I hope you are clear these simulations. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe this channel. 
I will upload next part shortly. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Visa.